Hi everybody, I'm glad to see you back here and just wanted to ask you a quick question. How many times did you think something like this? Um, what a great lesson we could have had if I had had the time to prepare it. Well, I guess we all sometimes feel tired, but on the other hand, if you find that time once to prepare some templates, it will be a huge lifesaver for you, especially at the end of the academic year. And guess what? In many cases, you do not even need any special skills to prepare those templates. Like, look at the ones that you see on the screen now. The cards with, with animals and the battleship template. Guess how I prepared them? Right. In the Word program, a standard program that comes with any system by default. And it doesn't take a lot of time. So today we're going to see how to make such templates and then be able to reuse them multiple times. So I guess let's get started. And here are the templates. So, as you can see, I just created them in Word and we're about to see how to do that. Oh, <laughs> just notice that my Word is in Russian, unlike other programs on my laptop. Wow, <laughs> but okay, I, I hope that won't be a problem because I'm going to be translating the menus anyway. All right, so um, the first type of a template was a card. A card which can be with a picture like here, with some text, and can be used for a variety of vocabulary activities or speaking activities. So, how can we make them here? We have to go to the second menu, which in English can be called Add or Insert, something like this. And then we need shapes. Well, in my case, I used rectangles, but you can use some other shapes as well. Okay, and when you draw it, you can see some color options here on top. So some standard examples that you can use. Yeah, like this. Um, or this is the one I used. Or you can actually uh, choose some more colors here in the menu on the right, or even go to the whole spectrum. Well, I don't know, for example, let's choose something like this. Yep, okay. And then we can insert something into that shape. Well, in my case, uh, the topic was animals, so let's stick to it. Um, we go to the same menu, add or insert, but then we have to choose a picture. Picture. It's very convenient that in Word there is an opportunity to search for pictures right here. So you don't have to search for a picture or download it from somewhere. So, um, what, what animal should we look for? Let's say, I don't know, a dog. Yeah. Dog dog vector png. Uh, the reason why I type vector here is because I want it to be like a cartoon uh, cartoon picture and yeah, not a real dog. And png is a type of um, picture which does not have a background. And that's exactly what I need because imagine if you have a picture with a white background here, it won't look good. So and here are some dogs. You know, <laughs> they're all so cute. Right. Well, let's, for example, take this one and check if it doesn't have, yeah, the background. It doesn't. Perfect. So let's resize it and put right on the picture. Oh, I can't put it because I need to change its um, place. It needs to be before, not before, but in front of the text, in front of the text or other objects. Okay. That's it. And this is ready. 
Now, how can we get it to Jamboard? Because, um, let me show you one more time. What you saw in the beginning, these cards, they are placed on Jamboard, which is a service by Google, and you can use it as a board uh, for your classes. Um, I like it very much because it's very easy to use, and if you want your students to have access to it, uh, you just share a link and they do not have to be signed in. Um, actually, they do not have to have a Google account here. So they just follow the link and join. That's it. Um, I actually made a video about Jamboard previously and I guess I'll just leave it in the um, box, in the description box down below so you can watch and see um, all the functions of Jamboard. Um, and oh, the reason why I started talking about this is that Jamboard allows to add pictures here, uh, but it does not allow to upload any documents. And right now, our card is in a document, so we should get it out from here. <laughs> so how can we do that? Uh, we can do it with a screen shorter. A standard one because um, all computers or laptops have a print screen function or we can use another screen shorter for example um, the one I like is um, Joxy yeah, it's called Joxy so um, let's go to our screen shorter and here you can see its window okay let's cut it out Imagine that you don't do it very well from the first time and your line does not match the border of the picture, actually, I mean, of, of your card. And the reason why I like this screenshotter is that you can correct it. So um, you can just take it and drag and drop. That's it. And now it's straight or probably something Something on top is not really correct too. Okay. Okay. All right, now it looks much better. And what's more, um, in this screenshotter, you can actually um, draw something here or add any shapes as well or text if you need. But now we don't need to do that, so we won't. So when we're done, we just click, click done. Uh -huh. and open it in a browser. So after it's opened, we will be able to save it as a JPEG picture, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, JPEG. This is one of the formats that Jamboard allows us to use. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So um, click the right button of the mouse, save as, and then just save somewhere. In my case, it's going to be mm, a desktop. Okay. Takes some time. <laughs> the laptop hasn't woken up yet <laughs> in the morning. Okay, so that's going to be dog. Dog. Save. That's it. Mm -hmm. And now we can add it to our Jamboard. So let's go there. Um, add image. Select files from your device. And it will take us to the place where we upload it from last. And this is desktop for me. Okay, here's our dog. Let's open it. Okay, and it's here. It's of the same size with other cards. And now we can place it inside the deck. So let's remove animals and put it here. But now we will have to re-upload re -upload the animals card again. Because look, if I place it on top and click somewhere, it'll go behind. 
<laughs> because uh, one of the features of Jamboard is that um, whenever you upload a few objects, the objects that you upload last will always be on top of the previous ones. So I want the Animo card to be the last, so I have to upload it last. So now I have to delete it and then go to add image and re-upload it one more time. Only in that case, all my other animal cards will be behind that name. Okay, I have animals over here. Mm -hmm. Up. Okay, it's back. Now it is on top. Oh, wow! Look, two colored cards look so much better, right? Yeah, so next time I do something with my students, I'm gonna make them uh, of di two different or three different colors. That's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> All right, and when you're ready with your deck, what can you do with your students? You can make them take a card. I don't know, um, say something about this animal, describe this animal. Um, so practice vocabulary in any way, or if you have some probably, um, I don't know, statements on your cards, then it could be a great foundation just for speaking. Yeah. And when you're done with the card, you just put it back and then click somewhere and it goes back by itself. Right. So that was the example of the first type of a template. And then the other type that I really like is um, a battleship game field. Oh, well, grammar battleship in my case. Um, if you don't know how to play battleships yet, you can actually watch my other video about this game in particular. I'll also link it down below. Um, I really love this game because it allows students to repeat the same constructions multiple times. Um, and that's a very good drill, you know. But uh, the thing is that for that game, you would want to create new fields every time, you know, to adjust it to your students' need. And if, just imagine, you have to go to, I don't know, graphic design, application or program like Photoshop, it makes the whole process much more difficult and you probably wouldn't want to do that even to start. And in Word we can create this field really fast. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go back to the document and here is that very field uh, that you just saw. So let's recreate it. Yeah, um, let's go to the new to the new uh, sheet, yep, right here. And we're gonna need the same insert function, which we used before, but not shapes or pictures, uh, but tables. So um, how many columns do we need? Well, let's say we, we need six, for example, and uh, six lines as well. Right, when you insert a table, again, it's just its standard view, but you can actually um, have a look on top and here you have some uh, different, t some different, well, color solutions. And it even can change its look, yeah. Um, the one that I chose was somewhere here yeah this one yeah i chose this one because well to my mind it looked more like a c and since this is a battleship game so i thought it would be uh, convenient okay and again here you can insert any pictures or any kind of text which you want to let your students play um well before you actually start you want to standardize all those columns and lines because once you start typing it's going to be a standard um, font and size so and every time you go to a new um to a new part um it's gonna 
even if you change the font and the size, it's going to go back to that standard one. And you don't want to change it every time, you know. So um, it's actually easier to do like this. Where's our main page? Yeah. So you just choose one font in the very at the very beginning and one size which you want to use and that's it and then wh whenever you start typing like this or this it's gonna be the same yeah the reason why it changes from white to black is because I have already uh, made that table before in the same document so it just remembers <laughs> remembers it in this way you know you can type whatever here and then um, you can add any pictures if you want your students to practice anything uh, with uh, I mean some vocabulary and imagine that you're done yeah we're not gonna fill in the whole table imagine that you're done and now you have to get that table to Jamboard as well and it's it can be done with the same screenshotter that I showed before Joxy or if you don't have any or for some reason you can't download it you can actually use the standard function which is print screen let me show it to you now so um, I'm gonna go to this one yeah, to, to, to the table which is complete and now I just press print screen on my keyboard and then I have to open the paint program it's also a standard program so um, you don't have to look for it or download it so paint paint okay here it is so let's open it And there you will be able to paste your print screen and then cut that table out. Okay, so let's paste it. Control V is what we use. Mm -hmm. Right, and now we choose select and select the area that you want to keep. But here be careful, you cannot make mistakes. For example, because if you do it like this and leave uh, the white background, you will not be able to correct it here, unlike uh, when using Joxy. So you have to be precise here. Okay, and crop. Right, that's it. Now we go to File, Save as, JPEG Picture or PNG Picture. It doesn't make any difference here. Mm -hmm. Okay, save this somewhere. And you're done as well. <laughs> That's it. So now if we go back to our Jamboard and do the same, um, add image, select files from your device. Here it is. Okay, let's add it. Okay, and here you have it. Yeah, here you can resize it, place it wherever you want, and that's it. You're done. And look, it looks really nice. You don't have to use Photoshop or anything to to make it for your lesson. Um, as you saw in the beginning, <coughs> I added those um, cross, uh, that cross and that paint spot just from Google. Yeah, I mean, from Google Images, I didn't download them or didn't paint or draw in any programs. So that, that's very convenient for that game in particular. All right. So this is how you can create the templates in an easy way, just in the Word program. Let me know in the comments if you use um, any Word templates for your lessons. 
uh, it, it will be really interesting to know because, you know, we teachers are always in search for different easy ideas, but something interesting for our classes. Okay, thank you for being here today and I hope it was useful. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.